right, hi, I'm Natasha Watley. I am a two-time Olympian, and I am so excited to be here tonight. I am going to be working out with some, some of Tony Medina's girls. <laughs> refer to them. Um, it is his defensive clinic. I've heard so much about him. So I am so excited since coming off retirement, being able to be in front of these young ladies. I'm sure that none of them have seen me play. Hey, Nina! Hi! I love you. Oh. Oh, this is Nina. Yeah. And she was our star pitcher. I'm going to be working with them tonight, so I'm really excited. So, <laughs> yes. I played with her when I was like 15, I think. And now her kids are coming to this little kid. It's a trip. It's crazy. Um, with my nonprofit, I am so excited. Tony stepped up and said that tonight's proceeds for this clinic will go towards my nonprofit. So my nonprofit is in South LA. This is a bunch of girls that have never even come in contact with softball. It's really windy, huh? Teach them softball, will you? But we're trying to teach them all of the things that you know come with life, and you know those things that you learn through softball. Can you sign it here? Oh yeah, on your tricep. <laughs> the beach is that way. <laughs> yeah, show. Sure. All right. It's so cold. Hi, Tony. Right How there. are you? How are you doing? Nice to see nice you. To, yeah. Thanks for doing this. Oh, this no, is so fun. Oh, no. You're going to have some fun today. That's uh, a couple of my coaches over okay. here that are under my belt. Kind of know okay. that this is what I want. You know, yeah. Have fun. I like Teach it. them. I like Teach it. them how to throw catch. I like and it. And everything else will take its course. I like it. Nice Hi, to meet I'm you. Zeta. Zeta? She's home. How do you say you spell it? Nice to meet you. I love that name. Thank you. Alright, everybody, everybody here? Yeah. You guys excited? Yeah. Do you guys code? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to warm up quickly, but today's a special night for us. We, we have uh, Natasha Wiley here, and if you guys don't know who Natasha is, she is one of the best players to ever play the game. Probably the best shortstop, um, slapper, and uh, two-time Olympian. So, uh, Natasha Wiley, everybody. Hi, guys. Good evening. Awesome. No, I'm so excited to work with you guys. I there you go. Good. Yeah. Give him a good target. Give him a good target. Short hopping, make sure that you guys aren't getting it too far back behind. Okay, so try to get it out in front a little bit more. It's gonna be, she's a sophomore. She's going to Oklahoma in two years. In Oklahoma, the last couple of years, I hate to say it, it's been like the college to beat. So I'm, I went to UCLA, I'm a Bruin, so it breaks my heart a little bit. But I am a fan of good softball, so I am a Sooner fan in that aspect. So it, that's, what it, that's what it takes to be at the top. You gotta do this stuff every single day. It's not just when you're at the clinic, it's every single day when you're with your team, without your team. Um, this is like exactly the same stuff that we would do all the time. I think my biggest thing is one, have fun. Um, two, and just literally, like I love hustle, like girls that hustle, like anybody who's hustling I mean that's the biggest thing I mean you could have the best skill in the world but if you're lazy like nobody's gonna want you on their team if, that, if there's different stations people hustling from station to station um, the girls that are eager to listen and learn I think that's part of hustle too. eye contact um, the willingness to be coachable I think is is very cool that's one thing you can control so to speak straight up and tossing so I want you to stay down and toss from down here good job nice Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Make sure that you work from the ground and come back up. I mean, I don't know how much you guys know about me, so obviously I played, I grew up in Irvine, right down the road, um, right down the street. I went to UCLA a long, long time ago. Go Bruins, are there any Bruins? I saw I know that you guys hear about this all the time about like getting good grades and doing all those things but they it's so important just making sure that you guys realize that every bucket that we have so we have like our bucket of like school we have the bucket of 
our sports, everything that we're doing. We have this bucket of being like a good human, being a good person, making sure that all of those buckets are full because not one alone brings success. So if I'm just like a good athlete, if I'm not taking care of my academics and taking care of the people around me and being a good person, everything is connected, okay? But a game changer to me is somebody who's not only just like talented, but who is like a good teammate and a good person. Like how many times have you like been playing against an opponent and they just like stick out because they're like executing and they're just hustling and they're a good player, but then you get the chance to meet them and then they're a good person. You're like, oh my gosh, that's what college coaches are looking for. They're looking for those good, good quality people, but that can like bring to their program and who are stud athletes, but like good, good people. Okay. So I think that's like what's really important. So. Good question. Why did I choose to play softball? I chose to play softball because I was only child. So I was, I'm, I still am. I'm very, very shy. Yeah, you're not shy. <laughs> but I was really shy and like, honestly, re really, really random. A girl in my first grade class, like had a flyer and said, come play softball. So like, I was just trying to like hang out, make friends, literally like fell in love because there's so many different things that we could be good at. It doesn't discriminate by size, the way we look like you could be a good pitcher. You could be a good hitter. You could be fast. You could be slow. You could be like all these different things. Like, you could be a turtle. You could be a turtle and still succeed at softball. It's crazy. Like, because you can find your your way to contribute to. It.